What is up guys, Apathy back in the building with another YouTube video today and I'm going to be talking about the pools for Las Vegas. MLG Las Vegas is just three days away. I leave tomorrow. I got a flight on Wednesday, which I really hate, but it is what it is. Got to do some media stuff over there. Uh, team's looking all right. Uh, you know, we're slowly improving. I wish we had more time, but it is what it is. You know, I have my whole wedding and honeymoon situation, so we're trying to make the best of it. So today I'm going to be talking about all the pools, the teams a little bit about our pool specifically, obviously, because it's our pool. I'm not going to do much of a prediction for our pool, but I'm going to talk about the teams and, you know, how it's looking and how strong the other teams are looking and stuff like that. So when it comes to our pool, it's already fishy. It's, it's really fishy, you know. I don't like to think about conspiracies and I don't like to think, you know what, MLG is setting this all up and, you know, this is all on purpose because obviously it's randomized, right? It's it's technically randomized. But here, li listen to what I have to say. Alright, so pool A is me, or not me, it's Envy, us, my team, uh, FaZe, and the Gosu crew who beat us in the 2K the other day and it wasn't pretty good. Uh, we were pretty angry, uh, especially Slasher. He was really angry, and we lost to them. And of course, we have an open bracket team, which there's, I know EG, uh, Spacely team is also an open bracket. There's probably going to be a couple more good open bracket teams, so any of these teams could potentially go into our pool, and we would technically have one of the hardest pools, even though, like, pretty much it's the start of the game, sort of, so every pool is pretty hard, but I think if, like, EG or Spacely team's, Spacely's team comes into our pool, then we probably would have either the first or second hardest pool. So listen what I have to say, listen here. So we got FaZe, FaZe won PSX Invitational, you know, they won the event, they were looking really strong, and us, Team Envious, won champs for Black Ops 3, so we technically won the event before that, and we're both somehow landing in the same pool, you know, like, it's kind of like a little rivalry there. And then we have the Gosu crew, which beat us in the 2K, and it wasn't good, you know, they, they, they kind of shit on us. Uh, there was a lot of a lot of words being thrown at them, very angry words, so it's like a small ri rivalry right there as well. And just a coincidence, you know, we lost the 2K, right? And I think the day after, or it was that night, but the day, I'm pretty sure it was the night, but I could have could have been the day after in the morning, and you know they announced they're in our pool. We're just like, oh, of course they're in our pool. Like it's not really a big deal, but you know it's sort of like a phase. You know they're doing by this whole like champ seating and this whole thing. And I talked to J Cap, and a lot of people agree phase technically aren't supposed to be in our pool. I could be wrong, but technically they weren't supposed to be in our pool. If they did it uh, reverse, I forgot what J Cap said. Basically they did first, second, third, fourth seed, and then they did it reverse. Uh, eighth, seven, six, and fifth, or something like that, or they randomized the last four. I don't know, whatever. Phases in our pool, fucking love those guys. Uh, great team. Oh, they won the PSX Invitational, and then the Ghost of Crew, uh, looking really strong online. It's gonna be, it's just, it's a coincidence that they're in our pool, but um, you know, it happens. I'm always, usually, I'm always get put with the hardest bracket, the hardest pool, you know. I'm always playing Optic, or I'm always playing the second best team. You know, it's it's always me. It's just, it's my curse. So at this point, I live with it, man. If they want to put me against the hardest team, what can I say, man? You got to beat the best to be the best. So whatever, I got to do it, I got to do it. You know what I'm saying? So Group B, you have Rise, Optic, and TR. Team, TR, aka Team Revenge, is Killa's team, which is Killa, Mox, Mir, and Wheat. Uh, pretty good team, solid team. So that pool is pretty difficult as well. Uh, pretty good solid teams in there. Uh, honestly, Optic's looking really strong, but so is Rise. So it could go either way. It just depends who's performing that day. Uh, but I, I don't know about Killer's team. They're they're looking they're looking pretty solid, but you know it's a big question mark. Like it really depends how, how if they show up because I heard Killer's not doing too well online. You know they're just they're they're slacking sometimes a little bit, and they got seven point clubbed like two days ago in a scrim. So Group C, you have Team Caliber, Echo Fox, and Cloud9. Now this pool is probably, ah, probably the easiest pool. Now it sounds weird because now you guys may think I'm calling them shit or something like that. Not necessarily. I think they all have talent. I think they're pretty underrated. I think TK is a really good team. We scrimmed them uh, like two, three times, and we've always like traded maps for the shit on us. Uh, Echo Fox, I've heard, been playing really well. And C9, I don't know too much about C9. Haven't really been watching them play, but uh, I know they're pretty solid as well. So this is like a really, like it's it's probably the easier teams, so to speak. But I think they're all like sort of really close when it comes to talent. So. Any team, I think, could potentially take this pool. It's it's a really big question mark. Uh, you know, it just really, really depends on, like, who shows up again. And Group D, you have LG, Allegiance, and Cole. Now, this is another pretty hard pool. 
Uh, not the hardest, like I said, I think uh, number one and two are pool, and pool A and pool B are the hardest pool, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, LG, uh, obviously, looking like a top three team right now. They're they're very strong. They grind a lot. They play. They you know they've been practicing a lot. They're looking really good. Uh, complexity, we scrimmed them yesterday. They're looking really strong as well. Uh, I think a good thing that happened was you know the hard point changes a little bit. It used to be more of a, like a flooding, you know, just keep running at the hill, trade, 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 and now it's become like sort of this close, to, close to Black Ops 2 play style where you got to play your life, you got to wait for your team, you know, you spawn out really far, and I think that's more of Haggy's type of game, and you know, it, it just I feel like he 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 like he can teach the team as well. And I feel like he's leading that team really well. So they're looking pretty strong. I, I believe they beat us in like almost every map yesterday when we scrimmed them. Granted, we were scrimming on their host. And, you know, Llama was running OSA, which is like the best host gun ever. And it's really cheap. But, overall, they're still playing us. You know, they're still playing really well. So they're looking really good. And you have Allegiance, which is Mochilla's team. Uh, they're looking pretty good. But they're probably the, the weakest team in the pool right now. I could be wrong. You know, I don't want to attack anyone. I don't want anyone or any team to watch this video and be like, yo, he's calling this bad. You know, we suck. Like, I suck. Our team sucks. Like, I'm not necessarily saying that. But, you know, just with the facts and what from what I've seen and the scrims I've watched and, the, and from playing them uh, personally, you know, this is my opinion. You know, it's, it's not as necessarily means 100% correct. But from what I've watched and from what I've played, you know, from those three teams, I think they're looking like the weakest team. But, you know, the thing is, like, LAN is a whole different game, right? There's no host wars. There's no, like, connection being a factor. There's no, you know, it's time to game. It's game time, you know, people take it more serious. Like, there's a little bit more factors that come into LAN. So, just because you're necessarily doing bad online, you know, doesn't really show your full skill and your full potential. So, realistically, you know, Mochilla's team are still a pretty good team. You know, they when we play them... Uh, we like trade map counts for the most part, but from playing them, like I said, uh, they're probably looking like the weakest team in this pool, but anything can happen. So our pool, pool A, before I go, coincidence? I think not, but I could be wrong. You know, somehow, in some world, uh, God, the, the COD gods just decided to put this pool together. You know, it just ha so happens to be like this almost every event. Funny story, before I go, in Advanced Warfare, a lot of you guys know me and Krim had big beef. You know, we were like, we were rival, we were like, we were against each other every event. We were rivalries. We had a little rivalry going on. And we would play each other. Either we would be in every pool, I in out of like probably five events in a row, I played them four times right away or in pool play. I was in their pool every time. Every time. I, I don't know why. We were just in their pool every time. And the one time that we weren't in their pool, I think we played them right away as soon as we got into bracket. So, I mean, look, money has to be made. Call of Duty has to grow. I respect it. You know, if it's on the low, low, we won't really talk about it. If, you know, they're trying to, you know, put these matches together because it'll make, it bring more viewers, it bring more excitement, everything, and more entertainment. I get that. But God, I hate it because uh, I'm never lucky. Never. Maybe once in Black Ops 3, I was lucky. Once or twice, that's it. But out of all the like 10, 12 tournaments I play, nah, no luck. Here we go, hardest bracket, here we go, hardest pull. You have to do it, you have to deal with it. And I like a challenge, I really do. But sometimes, you know, you just wanna, you wanna, you wanna cruise by. Sometimes you just wanna, you, you wanna take the easy route and get to like semifinals, to get top three, and then you know what, okay, now I'll play the best teams, whatever. But it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed today's YouTube video, just talking about the pulls a little bit. Like I said, we're, we aren't looking that, we're looking okay. Uh, hopefully today's the last day of practice. Sadly, we have to go tomorrow, but we're gonna try our best to improve. I'm gonna try to help my team and, you know, keep them in control and, you know, just try to focus on improving and not bitching because I feel like that's our main problem right now. We're bitching too much online and it's, it's not allowing us to get a good amount of practice and getting, you know, the full amount of practice that we should be getting because, you know, when you're bitching, you're not communicating all these factors. But I will try to record and vlog while I, when I'm at Las Vegas, not a lot. You know, mind you, I will be playing a lot and trying to focus on winning an event. But, you know, before that and after, like, the day when I get home or something like that, I might record. So this has been your boy, Apti. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.